Okay. I really did not expect this morning to come on camera and do a video where I have to defend a pedophile. Which I'm not doing. I am not condoning what Ian Watkins did. But, for those who don't know, the singer of a band called Lost Prophets, who broke up last year in October, they... The singer, Ian Watkins, was recently convicted and pled guilty to several accounts of perverted sexual acts, including uh, child abuse, creation of child pornography, and two accounts of attempting to rape a baby. I am still having a hard time putting together baby rape and lost profits in the same part of my brain. But, um, I had been thinking about doing a sort of a, a short video about Lost Prophets for a while, because they were, they were a band from high school that I really, I really liked from high school, and they weren't really all that well known. I got into them just, um, in my, my freshman, uh, my sophomore year, when I got a, I just got a sampler CD. I had answered enough questions right in class, and the teacher would gave me out these sampling sampler CDs, and one of them was Lost Prophets that contained just two songs, uh, Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninja and Cobra Kai, and I fucking loved it, so I found it, I eventually found it at a record store, and I picked it up, and every song on here is great. This is the Lost Prophets, The Fake Sound of Progress. This is the first album I had from them, and they really spoke to me at that age. They were a really different sound. They made by six, just six kids who were bored and decided, hey, let's start making music. They're from Wales. And this it sounded really cool. It had this really neat uh, synth punk soundtrack that uh, you hadn't really heard from a lot of stuff at that time. And they had this really kind of cacophonous sort of staccato rhythm to a lot of the sounds that was very different from a lot of things that were happening. And I actually... There was a website where you could bet on certain bands, sort of like a stock market, but it was based on the popularity of bands. And you would put your points into them, and as the band's popularity went up, your points would go up, and you would to turn in those points for prizes. And I made a crap load of money by putting it all in Lost Profits right before they got absolutely huge with Last Train Home. And then when I picked up Start Something, I knew that these guys were going to be huge. And then I, I hadn't heard anything from them in a while. And I mean, personally, I find a lot of their later stuff a bit pretentious. I mean, rooftops, I find that kind of... Uh, like they're trying to make this big anthem. It's like, nah, you guys can't do that. Uh, but Start Something, Fake Sound of Progress, I, I love both of those albums. Um, Last Train Home is still spectacular. But I go on YouTube to listen to some of these songs, and I cannot escape every single fucking person leaving these horrible, horrible comments about the lead singer. Which has nothing to do with anything. Yes, he was a sick, sick person. He pled, pled guilty. He knew he did something wrong. But that has nothing to do with the fact that he was able to make... He was par a part of this band that made great music. And he was just one guy. There were six other people in the band, and they probably rotated through a couple of other people all throughout their history. So you can't just badmouth this one band for something that the lead singer did that he was convicted of a year after they broken up. They broke up last year in October. The fact that he is a convicted child rapist, that is one of the worst things that I could possibly think a person could possibly be. But so was Michael Jackson. And I admit I'm not a huge Michael Jackson fan, but people can still like his music even if you don't condone what he did. And that's the exact same thing that's going on here. I can still like The Lost Prophets and not support what he did. But people are saying these horrible, just hateful comments saying that, like this guy, it just goes to show that if you're into shitty music, you probably support pedophiles. Typical emo scumbags, garbage music, lead singer should rot in jail, and when people wake up and realize melodramatic emo music sucks. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? You listen to shitty music, so you're gonna rape babies? What the hell? I mean, I haven't listened to these albums in a long time. I don't... I... But I still... They have a lot of nostalgic value for me. I'm probably gonna listen to them later just to go through that again, but... I mean, a lot of people are kind of coming... Are kind of coming back on them. It's like, 
Listen to your buddy, yeah, what he did was fucking gross, but just because you think he's a typical emo scumbag is like saying all Muslims are terrorists and you're a piece of shit just like the singer, so please go fuck yourself. Thank you, guy who responded. Thank you, Monkey Ninja. Monkey Ninja. That, that almost sounds like a Lost Prophets album. Uh, Shinobi vs. Monkey Ninja. Yeah, the fact that he is a child molester, that has nothing to do with the fact that, yeah, he can, they can still make great music. The two things have nothing to do with each other. And I have, this is not the first time I've seen this argument said. There are people who talk about, like, people like Roman Polanski. He's like, you shouldn't like this movie, movie because Roman Polanski is a pervert. What does the one thing have to do with the other? The fact that he's a pervert means that he can't make a good movie? Or by watching his movie, you are supporting and condoning his act? I can sort of see that saying because you're, like, giving him money for something he did, even though he is the kind of person that did this, but the two things are completely separate from one another. There are a lot of great artists who were perverted assholes. Uh, Shakespeare was incredibly raunchy. He had a really sick mind. A lot of the stuff he said was very, uh, was very adult and risque in nature, but that's what artists do. A lot of artists are kind of, meh. Still, check out stuff like Last Train Home. Um, I still like Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninja. It's really short, but it's it's got a lot of interesting stuff that you really don't hear from a lot of stuff at that time. So I'm going to leave a couple of links in the annotations. Uh, check them out. Don't let the idea that the guy is a convicted pedophile get in the way of what can be some still pretty kicking music, even if it is a bit aimed at the younger generation that I'm probably not a big part of anymore. But I still like a lot of music from that time, and... I still like them from when I was in high school, so take care.